Okay, what's up everyone? What's going on? John here with yet another video. Today's video is all about how you can make anything isometric in Adobe Photoshop. And without so much ado, let's get started. So in front of me is the images that I want to make isometric. To make anything isometric in Photoshop, you need to first of all rasterize it. To rasterize something in Photoshop, head on to layers, select on a layer, right click it, and then click rasterize. Make sure that everything is rasterized. Alright, upon doing that, you can now come and select the first image that you want to make isometric. Then head on to edit. Then come and select free transform. And the first thing that you want to do is to rotate this. So I'll head on to the set rotation. And I'll make this 30. And as you can see, the image has been rotated, but it is not yet isometric. So to make it isometric, I'll head on to the horizontal screen, and I'll make this minus 30. And as you can see, the image now looks isometric. So you can just come and see, okay. Repeating such steps to make something isometric in Photoshop can be quite tiresome, especially if you're working with several items. What if you take advantage of actions? Actions helps you to record every action that you do in Photoshop, and if you want to repeat it in future, you can just click a play button. Let me show you how this works. So I'll head on to Widow, and then I'll come and select Action. So the action should appear here. So I've already created an action, so I'll just come and first of all remove it, so I can show you how this works. So I'll just come and click the folder, create a new folder, and you can give it a name. In my case, I'll call it isomatic. Then I'll say OK. So within that folder, I'll create an action, and to create an action, you just come and click this, and an action will be created. You can give it a name, you can set it to that folder, you can set a function key and even some colors. In my case, I'll leave all of them to the defaults and I'll just come and say record. So what you are going to see here is that Photoshop is now ready to record any action that I perform in Photoshop. So I can just come and I'll reduce that and now I'll make this second item here isometric. So as usual, I'll head on to edit, free transform, rotate, I make it 30, and the horizontal screw I make it minus that then after that I can just come and say ok after that I need to head on to the screw or to the actions and then I need, I need to head on to action and then I come and stop always remember to stop the action so we can now minimize that and I can just come and undo that so it will only undo one step and it will not remove the action here so i can now just come and click this item here go to action and then i can just come and play and the item will be made isometric i can just come and click this click on play and the item is and the item is made at look isometric cool so i can just come and organize And I can also apply some uh, shadow effect to them. So I can head on to layers. I select on a specific uh, area. Then I head on to effects. Then I click drop down shadow. Or drop shadow ladder. Then I'll come and make this 20. as well as these I can make it 20 and uh, for this one I can maybe set it to 0 and maybe 45 good And also make sure that this is set to multiply. Then I can say OK. 
so I can come and copy that effect to all of the remaining layers so I can right click that specific layer that has that effect then uh, copy layer style right click on that uh, another layer and then paste layer styles I can also come and select the last one right click and paste layer styles And that's how you can be able to basically make anything isometric in Photoshop. Hope the video was interesting. If it was, kindly give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get cool videos in future. See you the next one. And as usual, stay safe.